we are live. Welcome to She-Hulk episode 6 Thoughts. This episode is called Just Jen. So, spoilers for the MCU leading up to this episode, including this episode. So, obviously we were a little surprised that this episode did not feature Daredevil, but I don't know. I'm guessing next week. I... It's not really a big deal, I don't think. Now, I really love Jen's reactions to the invitation. When the glitter spills out, she looks like it's toxic waste or something. And she confirms it's a self-contained wedding episode. And Lulu is very upset that She-Hulk is attracting attention away from her. And the title is Just Jen, Attorney Law, instead of She-Hulk. And Mr. Immortal is one of those, you know, we love to hate this guy. I think it could be said that no one has tried more than me. Probably, literally. I think this is the most considerate way to end a marriage. Wow. And I forget... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I got it written down, but at one point he says, I won't, I will never come to understand women, even if I, it, what was it, even if I grow to be, uh, and I will. And Nikki and Mallory Cross talk about how bad it is of Mr. Immortal and marriages by suiciding, and he has such trouble with confrontation that he goes ahead and jumps out the window. So yeah, the non-superpowered version of this in real life is ghosting. Now, let's see. And and that is like I f I forget. I want to say was it maybe Ireland? I don't know if it's still a problem, but at least for a while divorces were not legal because of religion. And so men would just abandon their wives and these women would end up you know, they can't remarry because they're technically still married and just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, and it's just unreal how some men have just no empathy for, like, how much do you, much, how, how much do you have to hate your wife to strand her in that situation? Like, just, yeah. Now, let's see. Right, I also like, you know, he's, he's like, um, I thought attorneys were supposed to, was it, the, you weren't supposed to take sides, and let's see, I think, yeah, and then Mallory says, no, 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 we're allowed to take sides, we'll ju we, we will represent you, but we'll take sides, and Nikki's like, I'm tapping out, this is, no. I, I don't think I got it written down, but I, I quite like, you know, she's like, okay, 15 seconds of eye contact and a sincere apology. And he's like, is that really the best you could do? That seems interminable. 20 seconds of eye contact. It's just, wow. And that is the exact right way to respond to that. Yeah. And yeah. Jen shares with, with Lulu about, you know, her career and such. And she's like, no, 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 I, I don't want any of the career stuff. I mean, are you dating? Is there a boy in your life? And, you know, she's like, well, no. Uh, well, yeah, you, you still have a little time. Literally every single woman in her 30s in the Western world has had at least one encounter like this. She's doing great. It's her career she cares about. And Titania shows up, and Lulu is way more excited about her professional love. How do you have time for this? Don't you run, like, 5,000 businesses? Just, wow. And, you know, Titania gaslights her, and it's like, not everything is about you. And then later, I knew it. Of course you did. I literally said, this is over. And Lulu asks Jen to clean up, since her staff is quitting from bad treatment, which, just, yeah. And, you know, treating her less like an old friend and more just like, you know, well, why don't you handle this? Just, 
I really love Mallory calling a meeting of the church. What is it? I think she like, um, she she like what's it called? She like hits the table, and then all three of them swivel around on their chairs. Just yeah. Video games are sports now. They're on ESPN and everything. And Jen has to take care of their shirts. And the partners of Mr. Immortal, Crosstalk, and Mallory and Nikki have to stop him from suiciding. You know, he's like, he's trying to get out of his chair, and they're on either side, so they just put a hand on his shoulder, and he can't. Yeah. <laughs> and Jen gets really drunk, dances a lot, and Titania and She-Hulk fight. Getting into a fight with someone else at the wedding is one of the least acceptable things to do. And we think that Lulu is going to be upset with Jen, but she's just really drunk and happy that She-Hulk is at her wedding and impressed with her body. And, you know, since she's drunk, she comes out and says what all of them have, you know, have been dancing around. You know her curves. You know what, what? I think she outright says amazing boobs or something like that. Just wow. And Nikki and Mallory find a website. What was in Intelligentsia with memes and death threats towards She Hulk. Mallory doesn't think that Jen should know. Nikki calls in the car on the way home, like immediately. Now, some some people have theorized that maybe Mallory is in on it, and that's why. I don't know, um, could be, but I think it is also just, it is that thing of just, you know, yeah, some people think, you know, I, I think she even says, don't feed, you know, if you feed the trolls, you're just going to make it worse, but, I mean, yeah, that used to be true, but now, like, the trolls will just keep getting increasingly extreme, and eventually you have to, you know, deal with them. Now, let's see. Yeah, and we see that in secret someone is gathering information on She Hulk. We don't know who it is, but it must be connected to the others. They have the bet needle and they prepare a new needle, which might be vibranium, since that was what I, f I forget his name, but the one of the dates said, you know, maybe vibranium could, you know, he, he pondered aloud if vibranium could break her skin. I really hope Josh is not involved at all. He seems so nice. So, right. Others have pointed out that the website is in part making fun of Joe Rogan. I approve. And the Young Turks explain quite well why. Jesse Gender did a really great review of this episode. And I 100% recommend that you check it out. And... There we go. So, yeah, I believe that's everything I have for this episode. You know, as usual, make sure to check out the various channels that do Easter eggs and such. Uh, you know, the, let's see, what I have it. yeah, New Rockstars, Screen Rant, Nerdist, and Screen Crush, and, and Heavy Spoilers. Yeah, the, the, I quite like the episode, I, I really appreciate, you know, this, so yeah, as mentioned before, this is a show by, for, and about 30-something career women, and yeah, the idea of getting invited to some old friend from high school's wedding, and you feel like, I mean, I guess I should, you know, she bothered to send an invitation, it, you know, I, f I forget, I, th I think it was maybe New Rockstars who pointed out there wasn't even a please. It was just a, duh, of course you will be my bridesmaid, you know. And, you know, yeah, you go to the wedding and they don't care about how well you're doing with your career. They just want to make you feel bad about the kind of, you know, the, the dating situation. And... You know, yeah, you end up miserable and like, I, I mean, I don't know if anybody actually does this. This might be an actual 
like an exaggeration of, of realism. But yeah, she there wasn't even a plus one. Like, so she's supposed to show up alone to a wet. Like, that is, you know, that that is something where very frequently you will get a plus one. So you bring a person, so you're not completely alone and surrounded by people that you haven't talked to for decades. You know, it's just, uh, yeah. I I forget in America when does high school end it's certainly before you reach age 20 so it's at least a decade since she's talked to this woman to any of these women and like you know oh they're impressed with She-Hulk's body but other than that they don't seem to really respect her at all like the the you know who asks an old friend to clean up and and just yeah it's yeah. Now, let's see. You know, yeah, basically, like, her, you know, for a lot of the wedding, she just, she's isolated. You know, she's dancing by herself. She's drinking by herself, you know, and some of the time she get, you know, she can hang out with Josh and, you know, there's some, ah, what's the word? You know, yeah, they get along and such, but yeah, the the I think that is about, but but yeah, you know, like stereotypically speaking, you know, of a show written by men, un unless it's for women and about women, would probably not devote like. I, I don't know if it's the A story or B story, but one of the two stories is the wedding, you know. So, yeah, that, um, what's the word? Yeah, you know, it's, it's relatable for, you know, women in their 30s who have chosen to focus on their careers instead of, you know, making sure that they're, they're, with a, a partner or such, you know, it's not, it's not that there's something wrong with focusing on having a relationship with a partner instead of a career, but, you know, just because those are your priorities doesn't mean you have to treat people who did focus on a career badly, and that's what we see here, you know, as, as far as I can tell, she's literally the only woman there who isn't with a guy, and... Yeah, the ones with, yeah, all, all the others, you know, they're like, well, you know, you're the, you're the single woman, so you must have just all the time in the world, so sure, you know, and, and you don't really have, you know, there's maybe also some, like, they feel like they don't have to respect her because she is single, you know, once you reach a certain age, as a, as a woman in the Western world, you know, you're either, if, if you're not in a long-term relationship, like, you're, you're like a pariah, you know, they, they don't know how to relate to you at all. So, yeah, I, th I thought the episode did a really great job, uh, you know, commenting on all these things. And... I think that is everything. I right the the fight itself, you know, was is still not like absolutely amazing. I mean, the show isn't really about action, and I think that's perfectly fine. Like. If you want action within the MCU, there's like, what, is it 30 movies by now? All of them have action. Most of them have a lot, you know. And, yeah, if, if you want a Disney Plus show with really amazing action, I mean, there's, uh, there's what if, there is, ah, what's it called? Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Captain America and the Winter Soldier by the end, you know, just, yeah, this was, 
I, I don't know if, you know, I, I guess it's, it's at least the stereotype that women, maybe especially career women, don't care that much about action. It's, you know, I, I don't know how much truth there is to that. I, you know, but yeah, the, the, I don't think it really needs to focus on action. I, I think it would be fine if there isn't a lot of action. To, let's see, there's three episodes left. I, th I think that would be perfectly fine. I find it much more interesting, the character interactions. Right, I, I keep hearing people say, oh, you know, all the men on the show are terrible. I might have said this in at least one of the other videos, but it bears repeating. Pug is absolutely a positive male character. The... Let's see. I mean, ultimately, the the date that she went home with turned out to only be interested in She-Hulk and not Jen. So that's not really. Ah, uh, I mean, I feel like the the I don't remember his name, but the guy who designs clothes for superheroes. You know, he seems like a good guy. You know, like he. You know, he's dealing with, oh, you know, gotta make clothes for the Hulk. And he's like, okay, this is gonna take a lot of material. But he doesn't say no. He's not like, this is too big. No, no, just no, you know. the I mean, he doesn't even seem to mind. Like, a, a lot of the men on the show have a problem with there being a female Hulk. I, from what I recall, he does not have a problem with that at all. He's like, are you actually related to the Hulk, you know, uh, by, by blood, you know, that was the thing. Once he knows for sure, he's like, I can do this. You know, it'll take a lot of material, but this is, uh, you know, and, and like, he apparently does an incredible job. We haven't seen the, the suit, well, you know, it's in the promos and such. We haven't seen it on the show yet, but when she opens it, she's like, this is amazing, thank you. And he, you know, I, I think he says something like, you know, ah, don't don't worry about it. You know, he he gets a lot of thanks for the the work he does. But yeah, the ah, what's the word? You know, I realize there's not a lot of positive depictions of men, but there's a lot of negative depictions of women in movies, shows, and you know, etc made by men and for men and about men so i mean they would literally have to go on for about a hundred years for things to even out i think it's perfectly fine for them to do some of this yeah you know overall i do think it i it's not my absolute favorite of these i think that the the ah, what's it called birds of prey is probably still my favorite as far as you know of a comic book piece of fiction film fiction made by for and about you know women i i was about to say young women but really um I can't believe I'm blanking on her name. I'm 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 not familiar with her from the comics. Otherwise, I'm I might be able to remember her name. But the cop is like in her fifties or something. So you know, and she's a positive character. She's a positive depiction of a character. You know, it, it actually you know, and and the youngest major cast member is like a teenager. So it actually it spans most of the the age range. You know, so. Yeah, that that overall, I do think, you know, that that also has, you know, some some negative stereotypes of men, and it has women just doing things that men might, you know, a lot of straight men would stereotypically be like, oh, I can't believe you're spending your time on that, and the kind of voicing the frustrations of women. You know, I overall I think that one does a better job of those things than this show. But I mean, I love the MCU. <clears throat> They're not the best at giving enough freedom and leeway to the creatives 
to fully like you know hit the nail on the head i th i think it's probably more that <clears throat> than the people making the show not being able to to do you know like mcu like there's a lot of stereotypical humor so i could imagine that might be part of why this is like yeah more more stereotypical and less less nuanced less yeah than something like birds of prey and i would also say you know the the first wonder woman solo movie also has some some really great stuff so yeah anyway looking forward to next week's episode and yeah catch you next week